Hey, what's going on guys? Jersey Boy here with another commentary. I'm actually going to start up my uh, my Lunar or Lunar, I guess you could say. My uh, Let's Play series. Well, not necessarily a Let's Play, like a regular commentary, I guess, because... Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to do the live commentary, so this is literally my first time ever playing this game. So this is brand new to me. I heard from a few people. It's a really good game. And uh, I just wanted to see for myself. So here we are. We're going to start a new game because obviously I have no files. I duh. Exactly and I'm going to start off on top of this big ass rock. For tree. Alright. Anyway, the graphics actually look pretty good for its time. The 2D graphics, I like it. I like, you know, the guys dancing in place. That's cool. I'm down with that. I dig it. <clears throat> but, uh, hopefully the series comes out alright. These are going to be some pretty long videos. They're all roughly about an hour long. I'm not really expecting you guys to watch them all the way through, but, uh, if you happen to do, then hey, whatever, man. Go for it. But uh, I'm just really doing this as a hobby. I'm not really expecting too much back from the community anyway. This is just, I don't know, I, I just want to do something. I mean, I'm a college student. I'm in the military, but... Oh, video. I'll let you guys hear this. Alex, couldn't you hear me? I've been flying all over for the last half hour calling for you. But, I should have known you'd be here. Oh no, where else would I be? In honor of the great Dragon Master, Dine. I know that Dine was probably the greatest of the four heroes, Alex. But I'm amazed that you never get tired of coming to stare at his dull monument. Oh shoot, I just remembered. We better go meet Luna to practice singing. If we're late, she'll be upset. <laughs> so we just got our first video through and this cat, man, as I was playing the game, this cat is a straight up smart ass. I love this cat, this no. This cat's fucking awesome. Anyway, uh continue what I was talking about before. Um I'm a full-time college student. I'm in the military. Uh, I deployed in 08 to 09. And this is just a hobby, really. I'm really not trying to get, you know, really well-known on YouTube. I'm just doing videos. But if it happens, it happens. But if not, I won't be disappointed. Because I'm just doing this as a hobby. And I don't know, I just want to see how things turn out. Maybe it turns out well. Maybe I'll keep doing it. If it sucks, maybe I'll still keep doing it because I feel like it, you know. But here I'm just trying to figure out the buttons for things. <coughs> and uh, in the video, you're going to notice I hit I hit uh, the circle button a lot, man. Like I'm, And I'm like, damn man, I'm not trying to save. I'm just trying to see what this button does. Like I thought it was a run button maybe or X. I was looking for a run button. But uh, I'm thinking a little too modern, okay? So... Ooh, ooh, an earthquake, ooh. And we run into this fat turd. And, oh, another hey, video. Alex. I figured you might be here. Now that the warm weather has melted the ice near the dragon's cave, there isn't any time to waste getting started on our big adventure. If we hurry, we may be able to sneak in without waking the dragon. Then we can get a fantastically huge diamond from its lair worth thousands and thousands of silver, making us filthy, stinking rich, and very popular in the process. Okay, so this uh, pleasantly plump guy, or fat ass, whatever you want to call him, this guy's like, oh, let's go find the dragon diamond, we're gonna be so rich, eh? Yeah, well, you got something else coming to you, boy. Mm, maybe a treadmill. So, he walks off and... We got this little smart ass cat. I, I like this. I really like this cat, man. I think this is what got me hooked on the game. Just the smart ass comments. They're just all random and funny. And sounds like some shit I'd probably tell people, but. <clears throat> uh, 
let's let's see what happens. Look at the, check out the town. This actually looks pretty well for its time. Like like seriously, I like the way the graphics look. And uh, you know, I'm looking for secrets already, cause uh, yeah, cause I, I I don't know. I feel like there's secrets at the beginning that try to trick you and shit. And uh, I'm just clicking X everywhere, and I find some barrels and. Oh, there's a cow in here. Oh, wow. Wow, he drank milk every day. Oh, my God. Oh, that's that's real nice. No, thanks for the fucking info. That house just looked fucking boring, so I just kept going. And Oh, oh Luna's singing. Ooh, we're going to go meet Luna. Who's Luna? Ooh. So I'm going to go inside this house, and... Oh, fucking Luna's bed. Okay. Man, I've... Man, if, I wish there was like an option. You just like jump on her bed and just fuck her sheets up or something. Just flip her fucking mattress, you know? Just do whatever the hell you want. It's like, oh, Luna, you don't want to make me no, you don't want to make me no breakfast? I'm gonna fuck your bed up, bitch. Mm. Just, just cut that shit in half with your sword, you know? So apparently those are my parents. They're like the same size as me. That's fine. They must feed me very well. And oh, oh, oh yeah, treasure chest, boy. And I can't open none of them. Fuck. So, oh man, is I mean, I'm really surprised the game was actually. It seems real interesting so far, but I just wanted to see uh, what a battle would be like. Start talking to these random people in town, Blondie. Look at this little kid right here. Or I think, I don't know, they're all the same size, so well, how would I know? Oh! And this thing really surprised me here. It, it, uh, after the first mission, I realized it was to heal your health. And right there, I'm just clicking it just for shits and giggles. I'm busy right now. I'll come back later. Yeah, well, let's see if there's anything I can steal. How about your fucking, what is that, your dog? I don't know what that is. We should steal it. Oh, there's upstairs. Oh, look, here's the sun. A nice cape, dude. Oh. Alright, whatever. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the weapon shop's not selling me shit right now. Redhead lady, you gotta protect and cherish me, 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 me. This guy looks like a, a bridge defender. You see him there? He's like, oh, you better pay that toll, boy. If you don't pay this toll, you don't get no roll. Know what I'm saying? But, uh, I'm just pretty much walking into anyone's fucking house right now. I just don't even care. I must have been the asshole of the town, you know? Just, what are you doing in my house? Doing whatever I want, boy. I'm gonna walk up in here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to your table and I'm gonna press X. And what are you gonna do about it? Alright, so, potion chop looks like. Oh, little pigtail kid. There you go. Oh, the kids are just a little bit smaller. Alright. Oh, look, I can buy potions and, st and I have no money. Well. I guess, uh, parents didn't believe in allowance in this, uh, time and age, huh? Just fuck me, right? I don't, I don't need no money. Yeah, whatever. I'll just get my own money. Look at this cat. So warm and cozy. Oh, too bad you're following me. So, no warm and cozy for you. And I like just the random animals around. You got dogs, cats. You see some bluebirds. What is that? Oh, a little work, little construction worker guy, or a bug catcher from Pokemon or something. I don't know. Oh, look at this house. Look at these beds. Oh, yeah. Let's go upstairs. There's no privacy. There's, like, no doors. You just walk into any fucking room you want here. Why is the room shaking? All right. I'll take it. What? Oh, this kid was doing magic. Oh, well, good job, kid, because he scared the shit out of me, and I'm not even a character in the game. We're immune to your magic. That's why. All right. Trying to encourage the little kids. Your magic's good, kid. I'm just too strong. Yeah. So, uh, where are you going, Alex? Uh, apparently, that's the exit to town. So, we're going to go and... <coughs> I guess I just 
<laughs> I just pressed that for no fucking reason. Look, some chickens, so... Anyway... I'm pretty sure we're gonna go meet up with Luna and she's gonna... Talk to us about stuff. So, look at these thick woods here, you can't really see much. And, oh! Here we go. silly were you whittling away the morning at Dine's monument again or were you planning more make-believe adventures with Ramus well wow this is actually quite well drawn like a uh, little anime and stuff looks like a real anime too like just google it and oh yeah some lunar anime got some luna singing on top of some kind of pond or something the water looks nice too it's actually they got the reflections in there pretty good little baby waterfall so we're gonna go to the white dragon cave and we're gonna go find this dragon diamond cuz I mean why the hell not yikes oh no that was loud <coughs> oh man I bet it was the voice of the white dragon. Oh man, they're actually gonna believe that that fat guy, huh? I mean, like, oh no, the white dragon's here. Oh, he's screaming at everybody. So, so far we're just digging a little deeper into the dialogue. I don't know what the hell I was doing here. I must have fell asleep when I was playing or something because I just paused there. There we go. All right, so. Uh, hopefully we can find more stuff like I just keep you know dancing in place you know what I'm saying just walk in place baby that's in it's in right now you should try do it at your house you won't look weird because he's doing it so Alex why do you even try saying no to Luna I don't, I don't know what is this his girlfriend like she just says anything and he can't say no he has yes my mistress Luna you can do as you wish all right, so I don't know. Maybe she has the balls in the house. I don't know. They they apparently they live in the same house because you know mom, dad, and then Luna's room, and then I live next to the fucking door or whatever the basement. And I'm trying to find a little secret passage here, not finding shit, so I just leave. So I'm like, eh, no secrets here. Disappointed. Walk away. And now we're gonna go. Am I gonna hit the statue? Oh, oh, okay. What am I doing? I'm saving. Oh man, I'm, oh, nope, I ain't saving. Hit the green thing, hit the green thing. Oh, I'm gonna check out her. Oh, she's a healer, boy. <laughs> she's the kind of character I like. I like a nice healing. So. Looks like we might still not save. That might have just been another accident, me hitting circle again. So we're gonna go home and. What are we gonna do at home? You look sad. You want a tiny bear? What an insult. I don't want that damn bear. I got this cat. I got this flying cat right here. And when it dies, I'm gonna stuff it in 
It's going to be better than any teddy bear you got. And I still can't get these damn chests. So, mom and dad, what the fuck? Give me those chests. <coughs> Alex, take this with you. Oh, you gave me a dagger. All right. Better than nothing. A sling. A sling. Okay. Slingshot. Oh, a flame ring. Well, that's nice. Take anything you need, you you think you might need. To reach the cave, you must travel north of Berg. Hee hee hee. Luna and Ramus. Okay. So, we're going to go to the basement because, you know, Dad just said, hey, take all the shit you want. Got a dragonfly wing. Oh, yeah. Got a herb, a star light, or whatever. Angel's tear. Oh, yeah. We got all this good stuff, baby. And I'm um, still looking for secret things. I don't know. Look at this. Just ha. Tap an X on everything. There's got to be a secret here somewhere, Watson. I know it's here. Fuck, let's just get out of here then. So. Alright, I'm just going to get out of my house. I'm ready to go, man. Let's get out of here. Let's go, uh. Let's go to the dragon cave. Fucking kill some. Oh, oh, no, no, wait. I got to think a little smarter here. I got to put my stuff on, you know? So, let's go and, uh, equip my shit. She has no items. I don't even know. Right here, I was trying to figure out the item system. Like, what? We don't have an item pool that we can all go into. Everyone has to hold their own items. Thought it was a little weird, but then I was like, oh, well, you know, it is an older game, so. And over here, I'm looking at the slingshot, and I'm like, eh, I don't want that shit. I don't want to put that on. So. <laughs> What is, I don't know what that item was, it looked like a scanner or something like at Walmart or something, you know, one of those little scanners, scan your items. I don't hit the green thing again? Come on, I know I do a lot. So, look at that green head guy. And over here we got, I like his hair's blue <coughs> in the picture, but it's, it's a, uh, no, no, his hair is brown in the picture and then in person it's blue. He just, it's like a little smurf, like a real fat smurf or something with glasses too, so... He said, you have to head north to Berg, and, uh, I don't want to head north, I, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to check out this forest, just because, I mean, why not, maybe there's something special inside this forest, uh, who knows, really, let's go check it out, so let's see what's in this forest, baby, uh, they said go north. I went the other way looking for secrets, man. I walk in here. Whoa, it's foggy in here. I can't even see Ramis. <laughs> she can't even see the fat guy. That's fucked up. I like this cat, man. She's so funny. Well, sometimes. So, I go head north like they told me. Like, like Pa told me. Better go north, son. Better go north, boy. Mm. This ain't this shit ain't north is south is south of town, but you gotta go north to get there. Ooh, they don't tell you that. You gotta figure that shit out on your own. <clears throat> Good thing it's a pretty easy puzzle. Not even a puzzle, just whatever. You you're gonna get what I'm saying. Give it a shot, Alex. <clears throat> so apparently I used my flame ring and it melted that thing. Oh, and oh, look at this. Look at that ball right there. It's like a little basketball, white basketball. And it turns from a white ball to this green shit. And I don't even know what I'm doing. I click a button and he just does this fucking maniac combo. And I thought it was badass. I was like, shit, that's pretty cool. So over here, everyone's just attacking things. And, uh, no, just flies around. Why doesn't she attack? I don't know. She just flies up there. And, you know, there's... Why is Luna running away from the fight? I just noticed that right now. She's running away instead of, uh, attacking people. So we get 4 XP. We level up. Oh, yeah. And in this game, when you level up, you do... You do a little dance. Like, uh, look at Alex right there. Look at... Er everyone's doing a fist pump except, uh, except Luna. She's, uh... Hopping up on one leg. Yeah. Alright, so we got some fist pumping dudes and a and a hopper. Okay. So we get to fight some flies too. 
whatever planet we're on, man, these flies are fucking huge. Look at this. They're as big as I am. Look at those little ass wings. How does it carry that fat ass fucking fly? So look at this. I'm gonna attack some shit. Uh. Oh, God, I just... I took off that auto attack thing because I didn't know what the hell was going on. I just clicked X and it happened. And uh, I noticed Luna's already gonna die and I'm like, oh, shit. Hiya! Just chopping things. Ramus already comes with a dagger, I think. I'm not sure. But we're just gonna... Do I heal her? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna heal her. Just kill everything, guys. There you go. So, uh, I like the battle system. I like that you have to... Well, I think it's unique that you have to walk up. You know, you have to be in range to hit them before you can actually attack them. Because that saves me from a lot of damage. Like, the enemies that are really far back, they have to walk a while, and they basically waste a turn walking, and I get free shots on them because they're in range of me, so... I leveled up, do my little fist pump dance, you know. Yeah, buddy. Let me get them extra points, boy. Mm. And I found this chest over here. Thought you were gonna hide from me, huh, Herbs? Nope, nope, not from me. You know? And I noticed right here I can run away from enemies if I felt like it. Then I trapped myself, and I was like, oh yeah, you ain't catching me. And then, oh no. Oh, six fucking slimes. Shit. So, I do, do I do my sword stance? No, I don't do that. I save it, because it's a really nice move, actually. Like, right off, right off the back, like, I, you can just tell that sword stance is a damn your boss move. It's like a nuke or something, you know? Over here, I'm just doing 15 damage, but earlier, you know, you saw me hit that guy. 50 damage, boy. <laughs> Sword Dance. Now, right now, I think about Sword Dance, and I think about uh, I think about Pokemon, like how, how Pokemon uh, they turned it from a a cool move, you know? Well, they didn't turn. It's not the same game, but whatever. It's just randomness. Pokemon had the same move, Sword Dance, except theirs just made your attack a lot higher, and you didn't kill anybody. Well, you killed them afterwards, but but um. Luna's just, she gets hit and she puts her hands on her head, it's kind of funny, so, heal, heal fatty. It's like, every time Ramis gets hit, I just, I think I see donuts rolling around somewhere, like, is he getting hit? Nope, she got hit. There you go, oh, 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 there you go. You saw that yellow stuff pop out of his body, that, that little hit thing, the little hit marker thing? That was all that grease, so every time Ramis gets hit, he, he's like unconsciously losing weight so maybe he should get a hit a little more so he just stop thinking about being rich and eating all day all right so we just beat up another group of jellies all right <clears throat> these little jelly things and I'm looking through my items and I'm restore a bit of health yeah so I just found out how to heal people with herbs and uh, I think we're good to go cuz man when you run out of mana or mana whatever you want to call it mana mana the MP okay you're gonna be in trouble cuz once you run out of herbs and you have no mana mana whatever I'm gonna call it mana when you run out of mana then you can't heal with Luna anymore and then these battles go from hard to uh yeah they become a pain in the ass and then this is a new enemy right here this star thing and I'm like oh man it looks like it's gonna do like a ice move to me and it does this which does a crap ton of fucking damage 16 damage like what the hell this is my god I got characters here with 24 HP and stuff well Luna anyway she's just gonna get beat up by flies these flies are fucking these flies are they're powerful, you know? So we just smack that fly in one shot right there, and then I heal Ramus. And here we go. We're gonna beat the crap out of this ice thing. You don't have to heal yourself, you know? Because he could. I think he. Does he kill her? No, he doesn't. He goes after Alex. Well, that's fine. 
Lucky me, you could have killed her. I don't even have uh, revives, so. Luna's leveling up. Aw, yeah. I don't, another thing I noticed when uh, Luna and Alex level up, all their all their things go up, like all their stats, and then Ramus is just HP. Here's a little more HP, boy. You, you want some more HP, Ramus? Here you go, boy. Mm, it's more HP. I mean, I, I know. Okay, he's a big guy. Okay, agility's not gonna go up. That's fine. Maybe the power and defense could go up. Maybe as he gets bigger, his defense could get bigger too, you know. I don't know, everything he eats, maybe he could uh, get one point of defense for each food he eats or something. He'd be like, these guys would be doing like zero damage to him right now. And, uh, oh, there we go, chopping flies in one hit, I like that. One shot on these little shits. Are they even really flies? I don't, are they really, I'm looking at our items, why, what am I doing there? I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what to use here. And, uh, heal, uh, what are, what are these bugs? What are they? These are, these flies or what? I don't know, are, are they flies or bees? I think they're flies, I'm not sure. But our Ramus comes in with that critical, you saw that? Little, four little stars, eight XP, oh yeah, Ramus, five HP. That's it. So, Ramus, I don't, I don't know, I don't really like this character. And he's funny to make jokes about. He, he's like, oh, we're gonna get rich. We're gonna get the dragon diamond. Yeah! And nope. 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 You're, you're gonna eat it. You're gonna eat the dragon diamond. Then we're gonna have to find a, another one. <clears throat> but, uh, oh, got another gray ball there. Oh, what is that? I did not want to fight that thing because that was a completely new enemy. And I saw this little. Oh, look at that, the jukes. You saw that juke right there? Juke the shit out of that thing. Now I gotta juke this guy. And I, I saw two of them and I hauled ass and my jukes didn't work right there because, you know, I wanted, you know what? I wanted to battle him. I wanted to battle him. I didn't. That wasn't a mistake. So, right now we're gonna beat up these slimes. Okay, they're slimes. Gotcha. I'm calling them jellies or whatever, like jellyfish and stuff. So, you know, Alex runs up. Bam! I like how it turns into a plant to attack me. Look at that. It's like a fly trap or something. Hiya! Good job, Ramus. Just chop them in half. Yep, slimes, baby. What you gonna do about that? What you gonna do, little slime? Mmm, get chopped in half, boy. Healing song. Ooh, na, 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 na. So I just healed. He takes 7 HP off of me. Like, fuck. Hit Ramus. He has more HP. Like, no. <clears throat> Alex levels up. There we go. Look at that. All his stats go up. I like seeing more than one stat raise, man. It's it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm just like, wow, only one stat went up when Ramus levels? But anyway, when you kill the monster, they just like dissolve into nothing. I'm checking the chest because I for some reason thought it was open again, and haha, he got stuck on a wall. And look at this, the jukes, oh, and I get stuck. I think I, you know what? I wasn't doing no damn jukes. I wanted to battle him. Look at that. So, check him out. He looks... Like he's up. I don't know. He's, I don't. Know. I, I can't describe what he looks like. He's a little weird. I don't know. He's got some big elf ears too. Well, it's a yeti, so I guess. And I really have no idea how strong this guy is. But I just I wanted to kill the jelly guys first because oh my god he didn't attack. Awesome. So. Pretty much, we're gonna heal Alex because he's getting really close to Alex right now. And I feel like Alex is gonna get knocked the hell out by this albino yeti. So I'm just gonna heal him real fast because. Oh no, I just feel like he's gonna get punched right in the face by this yeti. These little plants, the slimes are gonna bite me. And then, there you go, Ramus, knock him out. Yeah, boy. Ooh, 20 damage. Yeah, this thing doesn't fuck around, okay? This thing absolutely does not fuck around. If he gets in range of Luna, she's gonna get one hit knocked out, dude. Just just knock the fuck out. Alright, so I'm gonna heal him. And uh, I still don't know what Nal's role is up there. Look at that, he took a good shot right there, I ain't gonna lie. Ramus. 
That blubber, man, it's working out. I'm running low on mana or mana. Look, at that, I got 11 left. So I got, I gotta be making moves here, boy. Let me see. What do I do here? Do I want to waste that? Nope. Nope. No, nope. wait, what am I doing? Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Nope. All right, whatever. Apparently, I'm uh, undecisive right here. Heal, heal, Rami. Come on, man. Hiya! Hiya! And Noah's just flying around. She could at least throw rocks. Like, she could, like, pick up something in the background and just toss it at him, you know? Or, Maybe she could fly around and pick up her herb and just throw it on one of us. That'd be pretty fucking cool, too. So I'm gonna have her defend, cuz... He's gonna kill her. I mean, he could kill her. He's actually in range, too. And we got 12 XP, and I was like, oh, yeah. The mother load, boy. And then Luna levels up, so that's good for her. Magic endurance. Ooh, too. Ooh. She can take a little more magic damage. I don't think we've run into any magic enemies yet. Looks like all physical attacks right now. So then the albino just disappears, and then I stand there for a second. I don't know why I thought I was gonna check that chest again for the third time, and I, I was gonna go that way, and I was like, "Oh, there's two of those down there. I'm gonna get my ass beat if I go that way." So right here, I'm reading the things, and I see that I can give an item to someone. And I just realized, hey, I can fucking, I can trade items to people. No, what the hell? She has items. I didn't even know that. And, uh, use. And I can use the item. The restore is a bit of MP. And I, you know what? It was dumb of me. I could have sold that item for so much money. And I, because in the shop, one of the shops later on, I saw it for like 2,000 bucks or 1,000. And I'm just using it here for no damn reason, so. Alright, Alex, let's go. Oh, trade those items, boy. <clears throat> so, we're gonna see what happens here. I'm just still messing around. I don't even know what's up with these items. I tried to give her a weapon. I don't know why she couldn't equip the slingshot for some odd reason. Um, but she does have the little, the little starlight thing that'll regen some of her mana, so. Oh, and I, did I, I used it too. Oh, wow, I used it. Alright. Well, that's good. That'll keep us in here a little longer, so. I'm trying to see what else I can do. Use items. Alright, give item. And I used the herb instead of wasting her mana. I don't know why. I should have just use some more mana but you know what then again herbs well whatever we have like two more herbs and then I just run into this thing because I know it's an easier enemy if it's those albino things we're gonna get fucked up so six of these little slimes that's fine look at that bam get out of here boy mm. I'm gonna show you why they call me lumberjack mmm I'm gonna eat that egg, boy, and I'm a mmm. Get sliced in half, boy. So we got Lumberjack Alex just chopping them, boy. Mm. They should make like a Lumberjack character and he just has a chainsaw or something or an axe. He just chops things. And he has like a really, really thick beard and a really strong accent I don't know what kind of accent but it needs to be real strong and pedophile -ish, you know like Ramus he could have he could have just had a full beard and just be like hey boy mm, I'm gonna show you how to chop this wood and uh, alright so we just beat another slime I'm gonna keep walking through this cave the cave doesn't seem you know it's the, it's the first cave of the game so they're not gonna make it that hard. <laughs> I would be getting my ass kicked. And I see two of these diamond things, and I'm like, dude, I have to kill one immediately because they do so much damage. So instead of picking the far back one, 
and letting Ramus hit the front one, I wasn't thinking. I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you, boy. Mm, yeah, mm, I'm the slave. So right now I'm thinking about Final Fantasy VII. Don't ask me why. Just felt like it. And that bug just humped me. I don't appreciate bugs touching me like that. So, oh, look at that. He just headbutts me. Yeah, he's just headbutting. Look at that. Oh, uh, they're bigger than all. These bugs are bigger than all. These sons of bitches. They're huge. They make my cat look like a, a really small thing. All right, so Snapsguard. That's his name, Snapsguard. Yeah, boy, we about to... Snap guard that ass. Oh. Ooh. 15 damage. Shit. Alex can actually die right now. I have no more potions. I'm gonna have to defend. Do I defend? I Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, because if I attack and he outspeeds me, I'm dead. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he would have definitely killed my ass right there. So, what I like about these old games is, like, uh, the enemies are actually challenging from the beginning and stuff. It's not just, you know, you get these super easy enemies, and then that's it, you're good to go. <clears throat> but, pretty much, I'm just gonna chop this damn thing in half right now. The party won, yeah! And if you hear some beeping, excuse that noise, it's my alarm, my watch alarm, so... <sighs> and Ramus gets another level up with just HP. Good job, Ramus. You're really getting the points I want, and I see those two. Those are the two Yetis I was looking at before, and I see this guy, and I see a bug, and I'm like, come on, dude. I have to fight all this shit so I'm thinking about doing some jukes here I'm like how am I gonna juke this and I'm like fuck it I'm just gonna kill this guy I'm just gonna lumberjack that ass boy I'm gonna slap some gravy on them cheeks boy mm. so I do my slash and I'm you know I'm just gonna knock one of them out cause they do so much damage they can kill Luna right now if they really wanted to Swords dance, yeah boy. Mmm. Turn red and then you dead. And Luna. Oh shit, she did die. Oh. Well that fucking sucks. And you know what? I know Alex had a healer item in his inventory, but I didn't want to waste it. Cause I don't know, I wanted to save it for for one of those hard ass boss battles or something, because this is just a regular enemy. And then I see this happen, and I'm like, no, what are you doing? You're tickling her, and his tickles revived her, so that was pretty fucking badass, you know? And I'm hoping he does not attack Luna again, and we're like, let's get him! Yeah, let's, let's get our pitchforks and kick his ass! So now I see Luna safe, it's just Alex that could die now, I'm gonna have him block. You never know, you know. These enemies in these old games, they'll just surprise the shit out of you. Like, one second they're dumb, next second they're fucking one-shotting you. So right here, I'm just gonna knock that... You know, I didn't even knock the snowflake off of him. That bitch is still alive. <clears throat> and I know how much damage he can do, so... Oh, Ramus. Was that Ramus or Al? I don't know. I think it was Alex that attacked. That damage was terrible, man. But, you know what? It got the job done, and you got a level, and you get the fist pump, so... You know, just fuck it, man. Everyone's just partying up here, and Luna's all the way in the back. Doing her little hop thing. <clears throat> so, we should be getting closer to the White Dragon's Cavern, but... <laughs> I gotta heal. <laughs> Cause that thing, those two things, they do so much damage. It's like, fuck man, come on. And am I, you know what? I had hit circle button too many times. <clears throat> I didn't want to hit it that many times. And I'm like, dude, 
I gotta find a different way. Is there, what is, what am I doing? Oh, right here, I was just trying out the buttons, see what they could do, like my left, my uh, L2, L1, and all that, and I, L1 and R1 just shows up like my HP and stuff. <clears throat> and I'm looking at her items, and I'm like, what? So this is how she's reviving me. She has the little, uh, I think it's the fairy? The fairy? Fairy something. She has the fairy something that's reviving us. And let's see what happens here. Just looking through the items, see what they have. No wonder Ramus has a little more defense. It's not because he's fat, guys, okay? You guys are mean, calling him fat. But it's because he had that shield that gives him a little more armor than us. And he has body armor as well, so... You know, it works out. So I'm level, we're all level 4 right now, I think that's alright. <clears throat> actually don't mind this, like, you know, running into the enemies to battle them. It's not, it's a, it's different from the Final Fantasy games, because in those games, you had to like, you walk like two steps and you're battling, and in this game, it's, you know, not every two steps, you know, it's, you know, every, you progress a little bit, but, I mean, it makes it a little harder to grind in this game, but I'm pretty sure if it's, you know, if it plays the way I'm thinking it does, just from this little playthrough so far. I'm pretty sure if I leave the dungeon and come back, they respawn, so it's not that bad for training. And these flies are just getting their ass kicked, man. They're just getting chopped in half. Look at this guy. Yeah, you want to attack Luna, don't... Oh, oh now they want to hit Fat Boy. All right. Mm. Take that, boy. Mm, fly swatter, boy. All right. Oh, mutant fly. Never mind. No wonder if so big. I wonder how a mutant fly is born, because we're in a cave, <clears throat> I mean, maybe uh, maybe we threw in some, some chemicals into this cave and that's why all these shining things are around me, like these little baby disco lights or something, you see them? They're not spinning, but they're just moving up and down. Oh, more jellies. I can kick their ass, so I don't mind it. Jelly slimes. I mean, there's six of them. What do they give? Like one XP each or something? Like, yeah, you know, I think that's what it is. One experience per slime. <clears throat> I don't understand how this slime is just taking form like that. Look at that. Look at them. These turns. It looks like a plant to me, like a man eater. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so you want to bite me, boy? I'm going to show... Oh, no. Come on, man. Mm. Ramus, you're so fucking slow. Anyway. Oh, look, I'm, I'm even going to get Luna up in this. Look at this. Hiya! Karate chopped that out. Oh, she killed him. Oh, hell yeah. Now that I know... Well, they do give one XP each. <clears throat> but, uh... Now that I know that Luna can one-shot these slimes... I'm not just gonna have her sitting back there defending anymore, you know? I'm gonna have to utilize. Utilize that chap she's got, boy. Hmm. Think deep inside she's a little karate master, a little karate kid or something. You know? Look at that little beanie on her head. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm gonna open this. Oh, we got a new herb. Hell yeah. See? Just when you're running low on herbs, you get new ones, and I, I pull the jukes on that slime. Look at that. He had no fucking, no chance. And I'm over here trying to push things, and I see he can break them, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, break that. Yeah, boy, uh, you want to break this too? Uh, yeah, uh. Here, break this, break this. And he missed, retard. <coughs> there, oh, he missed that too. Oh, man. All right, he broke the wrong one. It's not the one I wanted. <laughs> He's breaking all the ones I want except this one. All right, you know what? You just maybe that one's invincible. He's like, whatever. I'll just I'm gonna get this one here. Ayo! Almost ran into that shit. Oh, 
Damn it! I tried to bring the albino yeti up here, and then these damn mutant flies are like, "Hell no, boy! Mm. You killed some of my cousins, boy. Now we're gonna have to mutantly headbutt you." And oh yeah, Luna one shot and flies too. She oh, Luna's a damn boss, man. That karate chop just doesn't fuck around. She means business. And Gnaw just flies around and I guess his only job is to revive people when they die or something. I'm not sure. But uh I want this Yeti to start breaking all this stuff up here. Break this, break it, break it, break it. He didn't chase me. I ran off the screen too fast. Alright, he ran the complete wrong direction there. Oh shit! Alright. And what I saw when I walked up, I was like, aha! Uh -huh. He has to break this entrance. This exit for me. So I figured I'd have him break the exit now. Come on, come on, yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, come on. Hey yeah. Yeah, boy. Mm. And then I was like, I don't need to break that one. Oh, look at this. Trap. Well, not a trap, but dead end. And I'm trying to use my flame ring. I don't know if I can use that there. Oh, another chest. Another herb. Oh, yeah. We got a bug and a little zapper thing. <clears throat> Those flies. They run so damn fast. Mutant flies. So, here we go. Ram is taking... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. They're just... They want them. They're like, oh, you got all the food, boy. Mm, I just want to eat you up. You look real... Yummy there, Ramis. I wanna dig my little mutated fly teeth inside of your butt. So I'm just gonna chop that fly in the back. If you look at Alex right here, he just it looks like he has a wand. It doesn't even look like a dagger. It looks like a this looks like a 2D Harry Potter game. They're like, oh, wee boo boo, Alex Sam. And uh, Alex levels up again, so that's good. I like I like leveling up. It's nice. And then Ram oh Rambus, good job. You you got more fucking HP, man. Good shit. You're so cool. That you level up and all you get is fucking HP. That's uh, I don't like this Rambus guy. He's gonna be slow forever, and he, all he gets is HP. That's it. So let's see what we have here. Hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna use some herbs. Look, I wanna save her mana, so. Her mana, mana, whatever. We've talked about this, okay? And I hit circle a little too many times right there, as usual. And I see this shocker thing, and I'm like, no. No, I can't battle you right now, boy. No, no, no! Fuck it, I'll fight this one. Because, you know, if I can fight this one, I'll be able to juke the other one. You know what I'm saying? And if I can juke the other one, I'll be pretty much be set. So, it's no big deal. And what I want to do is... I know... I know we can one-shot that these flies. I know we can. Everybody in my team can one-shot a fly. So I have Alex try out one of those, and it does 16 damage. Not as much as I'd like. I was hoping to do 20 or something. Alright, there we go. And you're gonna kill we're gonna go after that so I don't know I'm starting to think up like a little battle strategy on how to kill these opponents because if I just target the flies first these guys are just gonna mow down my team and just do whatever the hell they want like usual <clears throat> and I've already figured it out Ramus is always gonna go last and in our battle order, it'll be Alex and then Luna and then Ramis will just he'll attack after every single frickin' enemy is done. So, oh my god, 20 damage. Okay, this Snapsguard, Snapsguard, whatever the hell his name is, he means fucking business, okay? So we're just we're gonna shut him down. We're gonna get the job done. We're gonna finish what we started. All right, Ramus, good job. You ran like what five steps? Tired already, buddy? All right. 
You guys gotta stop calling him fat, that's kinda fucked up, but whatever, I can't tell you what to do. If you wanna call him fat, that's, that's your opinion, but he's, he's a really nice guy, and you shouldn't make fun of him, like, dancing or playing his fake guitar right there. Looks like a, he's playing an air guitar or something. <clears throat> so, ah, we might have to burn that last herb we have, sadly. And, yep, we do. Now we have no more herbs. And we are going to... Check our HP. See if I could juke. I want to juke this guy. I want to juke him. Look at him. I got him chasing me over here. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. Pull the jukes. Yeah, boy. Mm. Oh, I can't juke that. Yeah, I can. So right here, I'm like, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm like, hey, man. Come break this. Come break this. And I just say, fuck it. I don't need to break it because the door is open. I can just walk right in. That was kind of dumb. What is this place? It's so cold. Well, you see, little no. <coughs> What's happening? I have a bad feeling. Who is with me from my deep so, ah, here we go. to visit me in a long time. I am Korok, Tetrarch of the Dragon Tribe. You have journeyed far, and now you have arrived at my lair. It's a journey few have survived. Your mission must be urgent. Alright, well that was <clears throat> pretty well drawn. That was pretty cool. Alex, did you hear that? He called us adventurers. Yeah, don't get too excited, guys. <laughs> the dragon's very, very wise. <clears throat> this dragon is clearly very, very old. You can see his little whiskers and stuff. His picture, man, he just he looks so fucking pissed off in that picture. I guess I'd be pissed too if I stayed in this cave forever. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty sure Ramus is just gonna be like, Hey man, I want the dragon diamond, yeah you! Mm. Let's see. So, Ramus always wants some kind of adventure. Alright, let's see what he got. Beseech me, little boy! Yeah! Mighty Quark. Oh yeah, we're gonna find a legendary dragon diamond. Could you please give us the dragon diamond? Uh, I want it. I want to eat it, boy. <coughs> oh, alright, so... Looks like we're scared of shit, because he thinks he's going to kill us. And... Oh! Well, well, well. Dragon diamonds are made out of dragon turds. And we want turds. We want dragon turds for some fucking reason. Oh, your turds are so cool, man. I just want to take it and play with it. I want to play with your shit. <clears throat> oh, man. Alright, guys. So, this video's coming to an end real soon. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up. I believe it's tomorrow. So... Happy Thanksgiving, guys. You and your family. Have a good one. 
uh, brothers and sisters overseas, you guys stay strong. Keep doing what you do, man. Do the right thing. <clears throat> and hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Because... I sure did. I actually, I had a good time. I, I actually like this game. I think I, I'm gonna keep playing this game. It's actually pretty fun. So anyway, I'll catch you guys.